You will never compromise your independence and I never want to see you compromise your independence. What's going on world? It's your girl Emmy here. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my bedroom and welcome back to another episode of me. I'm still playing around with the intros. I don't really know if this is what I'm gonna stick with, but it's what I've been using lately, so I might continue. But clearly, if you clicked on this video, you already know what's going on. It's the Mars series. So let me just get right into just understanding what Mars represents in astrology. Mars is a planet of action, and it basically tells us how you go about getting the things that you want. It's what distracts you, it's what motivates you. It definitely does have an element of your overall energy, energy, passion, and drive. Think about Mars in mythology. Mars is a planet of war, so it definitely does have those elements to it, aggression even. Um, there's also a sexual energy, your overall sexual energy. It can show what you're attracted to. I'm mainly focusing in this series about like, you know, the instinctual and ego side of Mars, but there is, Mars is the planet of sex. So sex and aggression, right? Um, but yeah, I think that's straight to the point. I think you get it. Um, so let's just move on to the next sign. Okay. So the next sign is Sagittarius. When I think of a Sagittarius Mars, I think of this TikTok. Think big. You gotta be thinking big, bitch. Bitch, you think it's small. We need to be thinking big. You need to be thinking big, bitch. <laughs> you need to be thinking big, bitch. Think big, bitch. Mm -hmm. That is a Sagittarius Mars for you. These are folks that are not afraid to take up space. They're charming, they're funny people. Other people are naturally drawn to you. You are comedy. You are comedic. You are the comedic relief. You, this is highly optimistic folks, okay? You know how to see the big picture. You focus on the big picture. You focus on the big picture. Are you good at peeping the small details? Eh. Not really, but you know some way, somehow, you're going to get to where you need to be, okay, and where you want to be. You are ruled by Jupiter, so not only are you optimistic, but you're also ruled by the planet of luck, so you might, things work out for you, right, or you might just be a lucky person. Your positive outlook or your optimism might even attract a lot of opportunities for you, depending on your Mercury. You are natural law of attraction folks, I can post it description if you don't know what that means like you just you vibrate high you vibrate optimism you see the big picture you see life like it's a game that it's something to be enjoyed right you don't really dwell on things you're not really going to focus on the negative you're always going to be thinking about the positive you're always going to be um not really want to dwell on things right once situation is revol resolved or once something that you know wasn't pleasant passes you're not going to keep thinking about it on to the next thing continue with being and having a positive mindset you are very free-spirited people i think free-spirited um independent always curious always wanting to learn more always wanting to explore you love learning about new places new people new things new cultures very 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 open-minded you might even have or attract a lot of people who come from different backgrounds different economic statuses different cultures um religions just people who think differently than you you like to be around folks who see the world differently than you and just learn and learn about different experiences whatever you're passionate about or whatever you're focused on you you're going to make it as big as possible you are not the homebody type you are explorers you want to go out and see the world you want to if you get three days off you're going on a trip if you got the funds um or even just going somewhere that you haven't been in your own city or wherever you're located always down to go on a trip or get into something or just be outside like you just you live for that or you really just enjoy that you like constant change not afraid to switch things up you might change your aesthetic a lot you know not stick to one hairstyle different things like that speaking of switching it up uh, mars like i mentioned does have an element of sexual energy so you may even be one that likes to you know switch it up in the bedroom different positions different places hey you might even like to do it outside okay uh but it's all about the experience and you like to explore um and that's with anything that you do in day-to-day -day life um including sexually you guys are very truthful people you're very honest people you're very um upfront um no beating around the bush you don't like that uh, from other folks but yes you are very you are blunt you're so blunt that it can be harsh so it's not necessarily what you're saying the delivery it's the delivery for me it's the delivery for them you know what i'm saying that's what probably 
can create um you know some people you're one of those people if there's an issue you want to be told right away there's some folks who are a little bit more sensitive you know and they can't take that um so you kind of just have to be like hey you know i love you but i don't like this but i love you that would be better versus than just being like why the fuck would you do this type of thing like it's not you just want to know like why <laughs> like it's like why but yeah enough iterating reiterating you know what i'm trying to say your independence is so important to you you will never compromise your independence and i never want to see you compromise your independence you love to have the free will to move at your own pace you also you also really need your own space or you need space nobody no one can control or confine a sagittarius so romantically you want a partner that you know, we'll give you your space. Basically a partner that is okay with having two separate lives and one together, if that makes sense. You like spontaneous people. You are a spontaneous person. You love adventure. If somebody planned a trip for you, you would love them forever. You want to be friends first with whoever you are romantically involved with. And it's important to, I don't wanna say you wanna chase people, but like, you know, you don't like people doing too much. You don't like people who are like, like I want to see you every day or like I don't know just you just don't want people doing too much because it's like you need your like you just need your time I don't know you just want someone that's not gonna overdo it or over, like I don't even want to call it overstepping but you there is an element of you wanting to chase people but I think it's just like you're very loyal you're very loyal and a lot of people don't see that you are like committed to whoever you're going to be with you just need a lot of time like you might need to be talking to somebody for like two years before you're willing to like commit with them to them because you just want to like still do your own thing and I guess really make sure that they're able to do their own thing and not be all up under you you know so Sagittarius rules the ninth house ninth, the ninth house is a lot about is the house of like travel um in turn like uh, higher knowledge um even like i don't want to say occult knowledge but like spiritual knowledge so you probably like learning about humanity you probably like studying you know expanding your mind philosophy philosophy is a big element of the ninth house understanding different philosophies mindsets of different cultures and travel like i said yeah i think i think that's kind of everything i have i don't know if i touched on any negative traits i did say that you guys can be very blunt and harsh oh huge egos you guys have huge egos um everything you say is iconic you guys are just hilarious you guys are very funny people but you have huge egos um nobody could ever tell you that you're not that girl or guy or they you know you're also ruled by jupiter which is the largest planet in our solar system so you're just like your energy is felt when you enter a room like in the way you speak and so you are very impatient i don't think i mentioned the impa impatient you want things now it's my it's my money and i need it now that commercial <laughs> yeah you want things when you want it on your time sagittarius is i would say is the water sign of the fire signs because nobody will be as emotional as a Sagittarius they have these emotional outbursts I would swear they're a cancer like what is going on or a Pisces like they are undercover water sign a water signs even though they're so harsh they are very sensitive they are very every Sag I know cries more than I do and I'm a cancer <laughs> like I think I touched on this but they see the big picture so they're not really good at focusing on the details you know the steps to get things done planning even but some way, somehow, they always, it always happens for them. So, yeah. Oh, they hate feeling limited. They hate being bored. They hate people who, who are bored or boring or get bored. Like, learn how to entertain yourself. Like, you guys know how to entertain yourself, keep yourself busy. Um, so you don't like people who get bored easily or just like are boring. And you hate being told what to do. You hate feeling confined and being told what to do. Yeah. I think that's everything I have. I think that's the perfect way to end on a Sagittarius. Let me know down below. Did I forget anything? Did I miss anything? Um, let me know down below. I love seeing your comments. I really, really do. Um, it lets me know that I am not talking to my wall for no reason. <laughs> and yeah, I'll see you in my next video, which will be Capricorn. Okay, bye. Oh, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Okay, bye.